Today we're going to cover how to re-optimize content on an existing URL using the Search Atlas Suite. Our example is from the LinkGraph website. To begin, open the on-page audit tool within the Search Atlas Suite. Type in your URL and target keyword. Next, click Run Audit. This tool will perform an SEO audit on an existing page on your website. Once the tool pulls the data from your web page, it will provide you with a report of all the metrics you need to effectively and efficiently improve your content. This data includes your content score, word count, and readability level. Each menu can be expanded for more detailed information. In addition to these, you'll also find data on keyword density throughout the text and in the body of the text. As you scroll down, you will also find focus term usage as well as recommended internal and outbound links. Using internal and outbound links improves your SEO score and a web crawler's ability to better understand what this content is about. In addition to all of these details, you also get access to your content's technical score. This includes your headers, including whether or not the title is too long, along with your images, and other technical SEO metrics. If you are not going to be the one to re-optimize this page or you want to save the report for later, you can always export it to a PNG or an Excel spreadsheet. Your other option is to share a link to this report that somebody can access using the Search Atlas platform. Next, we're going to begin optimizing the content. First, click Create New Article. Then, paste or type the URL into the URL field and click Upload. The tool will automatically pull in all of the content from the URL you entered. Next, enter your target keywords and the tool will automatically pull a content score for the existing content based on that keyword. For this example, we're using two target keywords, but the SEO Content Assistant can optimize for up to five. As we scroll down, you will notice this page has a lot of text with very few headings. This lowers the content scannability and can send users off your page. This will be the first thing we address. This introduction has an example embedded in it, which can be split off from the rest and may not even be appropriate for an introduction, so we'll start there. Next, we'll look for other long sections that include three to five paragraphs without an appropriate section break. As you re-optimize your content, add any sections that may have been omitted in the first writing. These sections should include any information that can benefit readers and provide value. To speed things up, we're going to use the Search Atlas Artificial Intelligence Writer in order to create a section without having to put in a lot of work. Simply highlight the section, right click, and click Write This Paragraph For Me. The AI generated text will appear in blue. Another issue with this piece of content in terms of scannability 
is that it does not have enough headings that direct the reader as to what they're going to read. So we're going to add this one that talks about the primary elements of small business website SEO. We also want to look for sections that could be split into their own individual logical sections in order to improve the scannability of the document. Here we can split the map pack from citations because they'll work okay on their own. This will also work better as we add other elements that are newer to the local SEO. Next we will optimize the implementing local SEO section to make it easier for readers to follow. Using a list or numbered steps allows readers to feel as if this large body of text is more approachable. Remember to use your heading hierarchy, that way readers can follow a logical order of the text and Google's web crawlers can understand how topically deep your piece is. Next, we're going to add a heading to this conclusion section. This allows readers to easily navigate to the bottom where they can learn the takeaways of the article in order to decide how relevant it is to their search needs. After going through and dividing sections, we can take a closer look at adding specific sections. Next, we're going to add topical depth to our article by adding a frequently asked questions section and use the questions in order to generate content. As you scroll down, you'll see questions pulled from Google's People Also Ask sections. These are a great way to answer questions that real searchers ask regarding your topic. Just copy and paste them into your article, highlight them, right click, and then click Write Paragraph for me for AI-generated content. Don't forget to clean up your capitalization, as well as any minor grammatical errors you may find. After your first question, all you have to do is rinse and repeat. Copy, paste, right click, then select write paragraph for me. Remember to also keep your heading hierarchy in mind as you go and soon you'll have a thoroughly filled out frequently asked question section as well as a more topically rich article. Feel free to add any additional questions that you feel the article is lacking. These are always extremely beneficial to readers. Just as the AI generated text will appear for your people also ask questions, the same will happen for original questions you generate yourself. These questions are also a great opportunity to enrich your text with more focus terms. After adding more sections, and elaborated on topics that were not fully covered to begin with or are new to your keyword, you can add in internal as well as outbound links throughout the article to better optimize it. The SEO Content Assistant has a tab for this that makes finding relevant links extremely easy. Once you find a link you'd like to use, simply copy the URL Find the place in the text where you'd like the hyperlink embedded, highlight that text, then click the hyperlink icon paste the URL and then hit insert. Next, we're going to optimize our title so that it reflects our keywords as well as title optimization best practices. 
That includes keeping your title within 30 to 60 characters. That way, it has less of a chance of being changed by Google and the SERPs. Next, we're going to add a meta description in order to encourage more searchers to click through to our article from the search engine results page. Be sure that your meta description is accurate to what the article is about, as well as enticing to read. Keep in mind if you're not the one optimizing, you can always export your focus terms as well as the metrics to a PNG or spreadsheet. You can also open this doc in Google Docs. That's what we're going to do to finish optimizing it. As you can see, it transfers over with all of the headings as well as your hyperlinks. Our original article didn't have very many images, so we'll be adding images throughout the text to make it more appealing to readers and to illustrate some of the points that we made. Remember to describe each image with alt text unless the image is strictly decorative. This gives Google's web crawlers one more opportunity to better understand your content and it also makes your content more accessible for all users. Now you can add your content using your content management system. In our case, we have WordPress. As you can see, the final product is a much more scannable, much more thorough, and much more attractive article that is sure to perform better in the SERPs. Have fun optimizing and be sure to track your metrics in the Search Atlas software suite.